where the bomba is from. Uh, the bomba is an African heritage genre from Puerto Rico. It has the African influence, but it's Puerto Rican because it was born in Puerto Rico. So if you go to Africa, you don't find bomba in Africa, okay? Just to be sure. <laughs> it's not the same to have the influence than be from, okay? Um, the bomba has different elements, okay? The first element, the first instrument is the drum. Of course, we don't have a bomba drum here. It's heavy, it's handmade by artisans only. You cannot find it in the store. And it's, um, it's similar to the barrels that you see where the people storage rum and wine. It's pretty much the same barrel, but in a smaller version with a goat skin on top. That's the bomba drum. But we don't have it here in GameStop yet. It's gonna come at a later, later day. Um, they, uh, there are two types of bomba drums. The first type is the bula. Can you say bula? Bula. bula. The, 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 name, the name for the bula can be also buleador, but it's longer, so that's why I prefer to say bula. It's easier. And the bula's job is to follow a constant rhythm, okay? So it's always doing the same thing, no matter what. And the second type of drum that the bomba has is the primo, like cousin in English, or first in Italian, primo. Can you say primo? Primo. Okay. And the primo's job, which in this case, Rich is going to be our primo today. It's a hard job to do. It takes a couple of years to get used to it. But we've been working a lot. In, you know, we have a, a drum and dance group called Cadanza, so we've been working on it a lot. So he's going to be the primo today. And you are going to notice that as you follow the constant rhythm all the time, he is going to follow me. I am going to tell him what to play in the drum with my movements, my improvisation, okay? So he's going to be the primo, you're going to be the bula. And then we have a maraca. Somebody can be a maraca today. Jim can be the maraca. Say maraca. Maraca. Not Morocco from North Africa, okay? <laughs> it's Maraca with the A in Spanish. Yes. And this is the Puerto Rican Maraca, all right? It's made of a vegetable corn called Iguera. It's not the same like the Cuban Maracas that you see in the Hollywood movies, all right? It's not the same Maraca. This is our Maraca from Puerto Rico. We only use one Maraca. In Cuba, then they use two Maracas. But in Puerto Rico, one maraca, and it's only used in the bomba, okay? And it sounds like this. Inside it has a special type of seed that is made for this. I mean, that it, it grows by, uh, from the nature, but it's specifically used for the bomba maraca, okay? So, but if you make one here, you can use rice or beans or whatever you can put inside. Um, and then we have two different seeds. Thank you, it can be either two wood sticks, long, skinny sticks, and they are called quas. C U A S. Quas. And the quas are play on a wooden surface. It can be on the side of a drum, like this. Okay? And I'm not the best percussionist, so it's not going to sound good if I do it. <laughs> but, um, you know, either one of you can play the quas. How do you want to do the quas? so they can listen to it. Thank you. Um, they are all members of Cadanza Drum and Dance Group, so you know, that's why I, they, that's why they are helping me today. <laughs> okay. Um, and um, I am going to show you first, uh, which is going to lead you first, how you are going to do the bula part. Okay, the constant rhythm. The rhythm that you are going to learn today is the sika. Sika, that's the name of the rhythm that you're going to learn. The bomba has many different rhythms. Okay, it's not only one rhythm. Like when you dance waltz, it's only one rhythm. Like one, two, three, one, two, three. When you dance foxtrot, it's only one rhythm. In the bomba, you have different types of rhythms. If you know about music, there are some rhythms that are uh, three by four, four by four, so the bomba has all that, okay? The one that you are going to learn today is the most basic one, and that is the sika, and it's a two by four or four by four rhythm, okay? Um, 
After you are starting to do the bula, I am going to be demonstrated, demonstrating how I am going to improvise in front of the primo. But you keep doing what you're doing. Do not get distracted with what I'm going to do here, okay? And after I do that demonstration, if some of you would like to try the dancing with me, which I'm expecting a lot of you will. <laughs> and I don't want only women here. I also want guys over here. <laughs> um, because I can teach both. I can teach the guys part and the ladies part. Uh, then please feel free to, some of you can stay doing the, the bula part. Some of you can come and, and, and I can show you how you are going to dance in front of the drum. One person at a time. Okay? So if you are, if you are willing to try the dancing, make sure that we all take turns. I'll be with you at all times. I'm not going to leave you alone. And what you need to do in the dancing part is just mimic my movements, okay? Just pay attention to what I do. I'm going to make it very, very easy for all of you, baby food. And, and I hope that you enjoy, okay? Do you have any questions? No? So let's start and have fun. <coughs> 